Let's have a look at another great time-saving Excel formula. Count it. When I used to use Excel back in the day, I spent a lot of time doing things like counting through a column and counting up the number of entries, which could be a certain word or a certain number. There's lots of cool formulae in Excel, and one of the coolest ones is COUNTIF. It will look down a column for you and tell you how many cells display a certain value or have a certain word in. Let's have a look at how it works. Okay, so we have a table of information here. This table contains information about some of our spreadsheet videos. I've used this table to keep track of whether I've uploaded the videos to the website or not. Over here, I've implemented some formatting. I want this cell to count the number of videos that have been uploaded. And I want this cell to count the number of videos that haven't been uploaded. And COUNTIF is going to help us to do that. You'll notice that I've, just, I've adjusted some of the column widths here to make the table look better. And if you'd like to know how to do that, take a look at our column widths video. Okay, so COUNTIF. Let's have a look at the COUNTIF formula. As you can see, we're going to need components. The first component is the range. And this tells Excel the cells to look at and the cells where it's going to count. And the second component is criteria. And this tells Excel which cell to count. So we're going to set this to yes in speech marks. And this tells Excel to count the cells that have yes in them. So we need to tell Excel the range and tell Excel the criteria. So let's try and do that with our table. OK, so I'm going to double click here and then equals count if and open bracket. And as usual, Excel gives, gives us prompts so we know what information it requires next. It's asking us for the range. So I'm going to click and hold and drag the mouse down to cover the range of cells that I want Excel to look at and then release the mouse button. Then hit the comma key and you'll notice that the criteria prompt is now in bold. So Excel is asking for the criteria. We want Excel to count the number of videos that have, that have been uploaded in this cell. So the criteria is the text yes being entered in this cell. OK, so we have the range and the criteria. So we're going to close the brackets and hit enter. OK, there we go. This seems to be working pretty well. I will just test that by changing this cell to yes, and our formula should change to three. OK, so that seems to be working pretty well. I'm going to do the same thing in the not uploaded cell. So equals count if open brackets click and hold to cover the range, hit the comma key, and then put in the criteria. Okay, that seems to have worked well. Again, let's test this. So change this cell to yes, and this seems to be working well. OK, so as you can see, the COUNTIF formula is looking in this column and telling me the number of cells that meet a certain criteria. And our criteria is that the text yes or no is appearing in these cells. So Excel is counting those cells. We have four videos uploaded and two not uploaded. OK, so that's the COUNTIF formula. It's going to save you a lot of time and it should impress your colleagues. OK, so I hope you were able to follow that video and I hope you found it useful. I'll be really interested to hear how you're getting on with the COUNTIF formula or with any of the, any of the other formulae you're learning at the moment. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, then leave a comment in the comments section, or you can get in touch with us on Facebook or on Twitter. Okay, so keep up the good work and keep working hard with Excel.